Currently, a lot of municipalities are struggling to fund their needed stormwater services, including both capital projects and their operating costs. Typically, municipalities fund their stormwater services through property taxes. Stormwater user fees, or stormwater charges, offer an alternative, which includes a dedicated funding stream, as well as often being a more accurate way of gauging the amount of pressure that a property places on the stormwater system, and so being more of a user fee than property taxes are when it comes to stormwater services. So there are a variety of things that we'll be covering in the workshop, and the intention is to help guide participants through the various steps of creating a stormwater user fee program and maintaining and operating it. We'll cover steps that range from the very beginning where a municipality might undertake a stormwater financing or feasibility study through to assessing the resources that are available for staff, assessing public appetite, figuring out how to communicate with council and share the advantages of creating a user fee program, all the way through property identification requirements, GIS and geomatics requirements, different types of stormwater charge structures that might fit for different types of municipalities, as well as looking at incentive programs. These could include anything ranging from credit programs, subsidies, rebates, or even ways that multiple properties can plan together using the Drainage Act in order to maximize the benefit to both the stormwater system as well as to the property owners. I think a municipality would want to think about utilizing the Drainage Act because it allows for um, municipalities to implement public infrastructure on private property. For any municipality, they need to ask their, the question of what is the objective of their credit program? Is it simply to lower the fee? Is it to encourage the adoption of green infrastructure on private property? Um, how do they see it uh, as part of their larger um, stormwater master plan, for example? And if they have plans to think about uh, LID or low impact development on private property or any other stormwater infrastructure on private property, they really need to ask themselves, well, how are they going to maintain that infrastructure? How are they going to access the site? How can they potentially improve that drainage infrastructure? And who pays for what? Those questions are going to be addressed at the workshop. Uh, where we look at the Drainage Act and we look at some of the mechanisms within the Drainage Act to solve those issues, those challenges that municipalities have.